What up, everybody? It's Endgamer here with your Mario Baseball Let's Play. And we're going to be starting out with challenge mode. So, oh crap. Let's play the baseball game. Kind of messed up there, though. Having trouble through the mem uh, menus. Alright, now I'm going to start off with uh, talking about some of the captains here. Uh, Mario, he's good all around. He's got everything going for him. He's balanced everywhere. He He's just a bit slower of a runner. That's his worst thing. Eating too much spaghetti. Peach. Uh, she's good at pitching and fielding, I guess. And a little lower on the batting, but I'm not a big fan of her. only like her toads. Uh, Wario. He's pure power, but... He's got a good team to support him. He's got a great catcher, PD. Waluigi, really good p uh, pitcher. Great fielders. Uh, Yoshi, from an unreliable source, no one's the best player in this game. He's super fast. Good fielder. His pitching is a little off, but... And he's a good batter, so... He's got it all. I'd say he's top three easily, though. Um, a Wario. I mean, a Donkey Kong. What am I saying? Uh, he. There's not much to say. He's just pure power, brute, monster. There's many words to describe him. Not the greatest supporting cast. He's got Diddy and some Koopa Troopas and Paratroopa, but other than that, not the greatest. But I'm gonna be using Mario here today. I'll let you read all this. It goes by a bit too fast to read nicely. Unless I practiced before saying all it, but... I don't really feel like doing it. Not worth all the effort. Then Bowser comes along. Sending a letter of challenge, I guess. Well... I really think they should make a new enemy for Mario in the next adventure game, if they make Mario Galaxy 3 or whatever, to be like Wario and Waluigi or something, because I'm kind of getting tired of Bowser, and now, basically in challenge mode, you just go and face all the other captains, like Donkey Kong, Yoshi, Peach, Wario, and then once you beat all of them, oh, you go around doing mission like in match you'll get missions randomly and you can get players get scouting flags and if you get all the the players scouting flags you unlock them onto your team. And once you beat every team you get the faith bowser and once you do that you win the cup. So and we're on the mushroom cup so it's not gonna be too hard. I'm just gonna make a few lineup adjustments. Not much to do right now. Uh, just switching the Pianta to first base for Monty and uh, switching Luigi to shortstop. So now I'm just going to do some buying changes too. Also, not much to change with this. Later in the game, once I unlock some more players, there will be drastic changes to the lineup. Alright. So on uh, Peach's Field, well, Peach's Castle. I think that's the name of the field. You're not going to hit any home runs down to center, like going to center field unless you bounce it off a block or something. But if you pull it to the right or pull it to the left, you can probably get some out of the park. A nice start by Monty. Looks like he's going to be getting a double. Yep. Uh, now with Luigi. He's a really good player. Oh yeah, nice hit. We're going to be scoring the first run of the game here. Luigi with a double two. Uh, for hitting, I'll be giving a tip later with the Nokis. Because they're weaker batteries. You'll see what I say about them. But uh, yeah, right now we're just cranking it. Too bad that block was in the way. Probably could have got Luigi in. Oh. That sucks. Double play. The Piantas are power, but I don't know. I have trouble hitting with them a lot of the time. 
I don't know if it's their bat or what. Oh, f oh. Those blocks, they can get annoying. Alright. Oh, yes, if I finish these guys off in three batteries, I can unlock Toad, and that's the main reason why I'm playing Peach. Okay, right off the bat, that pitch, the nice pitch, is when you release the ball, like, if when you hold full power charge, it's when you uh, release it just before the A button, and uh, it gives you that nice pitch. It's a lot better than, I'll show you the regular one. It, yeah, just better than that if you hold the A button the whole time. And then right here, the strike Peach off is the change up. Oh, what? She hit that. Oh, crap. Oh, thank God. That would have been, been bad if Peach got that. Usually they can't hit that change up. And then now I'm going to hit Daisy with a slider. That's the regular slider. I'll uh, show... Let's see the change up. They usually don't hit it. Now I just unlock Toad and Toadad. I'm pretty pumped. Have them on my team. Let's just finish this game off now. Now no keys. Okay. Now this is what you do to hit with them. You move up in the batter's box. And you can just swing with a... You don't... You can use power, but that's the best way. You can do that with any weaker, with any hitters that are weaker. Hit off the right side of the bat too, and he'll he'll get a nice single. You're, you're not gonna really hit any home runs with these guys. Oh crap! Struck out there. Uh, yeah, with the slider, you can do that. It gets more power if you release before. I'll show it right now. Now that we're pitching. Right now we're up one nothing with four hits. Oh, we can get Toad's worth too if we finish these guys off in three batter. Oh, I didn't do it there. Uh, let's see if I can get it right now. Yeah, there. It doesn't have as much movement, but it's a lot faster. And here, see the change up? They can't hit it on this difficulty. Uh, now I'm going to do a star pitch. Oh, crap. Noki with a nice catch. Yeah, the star pitch. If you uh, go to the shop, if you, if we get coins before a match and then go to the shop and we can buy uh, Mario's power pitch, but it's really not worth it to waste money, especially on this difficulty. And we finished them off with three batteries and unlocked Toadsworth. But, uh... If we unlock, if we get that, um, it's not worth it, like, like I was saying on this difficulty, it's just a fireball, and right now we're not having any trouble pitching, so. I think the only time I'm going to go to the shop in this is for the last match against Bowser. Oh, Luigi, fouling it off. He's a pretty good hitter. He's good. He's got some power. He can hit it out of the park sometimes. Um, yeah, same with Mario. Mario and Luigi are practically similar. I think Luigi's a bit faster, but not by much. They're both balanced players, so... That's the reason I picked this team mostly, is for them. They're easy to build around, because they can play multiple positions, so if you unlock other players, you can really make easy adjustments to the lineup. And I can hit, and they're pretty easy to hit with too. Oh, I just go there. We really just need that one run. Ooh, star chance. Uh, also, Mario's like he might not be rated the best pitcher, but I'd say he's pretty darn good. Even for like a lot better than his rating, I'd say. Like. I'd say the top pitchers, maybe Peach and Waluigi, though. They have a bit more control. But Mario still has, we'll see here, he has, he can, he's got some movement on the ball. Like, I could bring it back there, but he's got still some movement. And then the nice change up there. Uh, now, Toadette. As you could have saw, if, as you saw before in the last, on one of the missions earlier, we unlocked it for the team. 
she'll be in the starting lineup against Joshi, I guess. And we just finished the game there. I'm guessing Mario's going to win MVP first pitching. Yeah. It said on the one site that Mario will win if you are, uh, Mar if, uh, the pitch, it's not always Mario, if it's the pitcher, and you get, like, no outs, 95% of the, if you don't allow any runs, 95% of the time, he'll win them the MVP. And if we just won our first game, unlock Toad and Toadette, and Toadsworth, so that's pretty good. Mario and Luigi. She got some star missions on MVP. I forget, uh, I have to look that up, but if you don't do all the challenges, it, all, it does something. And now, I'm gonna do the b, b bomb Run Derby to finish up this episode. With Toad to welcome t him to the team. And we'll get some coins, too. Uh, Toad, I'm, Toad's a pretty good hitter for this. I'm gonna do it on hard difficulty too. Um, t tips with doing the b bomb run derby is watching the ball come out of, especially on these ones. If you watch the if you watch the ball the whole way, like real baseball, you're gonna hit it. You just keep your eye on the ball and it's out of there. This is on hard difficulty too, so I don't know on the flower cup if the hard difficulty is any harder, but. We'll see. Oh crap! Wasn't really paying attention there. You gotta keep your focus. That's why I'm not talking sometimes. Like while doing this, you really want to keep your focus with it. And you get some nice coins. Oh, actually, slunk. Oh crap! The flowers are like normal speed. The fire is obviously the fastest one. Uh. The mushroom's the slow one, and uh, this one goes at multiple speeds. It's the big, it's the big one. You get 500. It's the big b -b bomb. Uh, now fire. I've been hitting all of them today, so that's good. This can help with your batting practice too, I guess. Let's finish her off here. Oh yeah, cranked it. Yep, finished it. Yeah, if you hit all ten, and if you hit all ten in a row, you get uh, combos, right? If you hit five in a row or whatever, so it adds bonus to your points. So when you're doing the actual mini game challenge, it can, it can help you get the high score. I'll probably do a high score video later, sometime. But all right. Now that we got the coins, we're going to finish off the episode like that. So this is the first episode of our Let's Play. So next episode, we'll be going against Yoshi. So see you then.